Ladies and gentlemen, it's me, James Swinney, coming at you this Friday afternoon from the broadcast booth above the floor of the New York Stock Exchange. And it's been a long day. It's been a long week. I'm ready to run out of here, and so are the markets. In fact, the markets are in quite the rebound mood. Let's see if they close on the upside, because it's nearly 4 o'clock. The markets, they're about to close. You know what time it is. It's happy hour in the Big Apple. U.S. stocks, they're higher this Friday afternoon right here at the New York Stock Exchange as investors, they attempt to shake off concerns over trade tensions between the United States and China with both bank and energy shares rising. Now, markets all around the globe have been on a roller coaster ride this week as tensions surrounding the eye for an eye trade dispute between the U.S. and China remain in the headlines. Now, back on Monday, President Donald Trump requested the United States trade representative identify $200 billion worth of Chinese goods for additional tariffs at a rate of 10 percent. But Bloomberg News reported, citing those familiar with the matter, that some White House officials are trying to restart talks with China in order to avoid a full-blown trade war. Now, when you team all of this, the Dow Jones Industrial Average is up right now about 100 plus points. However, the Dow did close lower yesterday on Thursday for the eighth day in a row. And if the Dow falls again, it would post its longest losing streak dating back to 1978. And I wasn't even born then. Let's take a look now to see how the markets are shaping up to close out the session and the week as well. And with that steady kickback, relax, quick sports note, World Cup fever and full, full pitch. That's the right word. Let's go Mets, or should I say let's go mess? And I'll see you guys all next week. For Modern Wall Street, I'm James Swinney.